Hi folks, this is Dane at Jonah Guitars and I'm just continuing the series on uh, the guitars that I've built. Uh, I'm kind of said that I still have with me. Uh, I may show some pictures at some point in the series of guitars that have, uh, have been built and moved on. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about that right at this second. Uh, so number two guitar that I, that I built. Redesigned, I didn't redesign. I designed something completely different, new, that I never found. I had a lot of books on uh, guitar shapes and production and stuff like that. And this body, as far as I could tell, was uh, and is completely original, as long as along with the, the peg head. So I basically I scoured through a lot of books, making sure I wasn't copying somebody else's design. Um, I have been told by people on forums and things that I posted pictures of what I was doing that this sort of looks like a, uh, uh, a mockingbird. Um, one of the horn, I don't know, I can't recall on a mockingbird which horn is, is the lower horn or the upper horn or whatever, but it has kind of this return back to itself. Um, when, I, when I designed this, I, uh, I just kind of refer to it as whimsical. I like it. It's 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 definitely not something you're gonna see uh, every day. Anyway, um, it's neck through style. Um, it's a uh, mahogany body with maple. Um, the the lighter runners are maple, obviously. I've obviously also um, toned or shaded the back because it's not the maple's not white. Uh, so I put some color over that transparently. I have a half inch maple cap. Uh, on here and uh, it's bound with you know ivory binding all the way around here and then as you get up into the cutaways uh, if I can get that into the camera correctly I'm not seeing it tilt it more tilt it the other way there we go you can see that this actually in the cutaway up here is uh, just a uh, maple. I just didn't turn the corner with the ivory, so you have what you call a faux binding there, just out of the maple. The maple and the ivory binding were pretty close. Obviously, ivory pick guard. Um, this is a not a string through, but a uh, strings are retained right at the bridge. Got this from Stu Mac. It's a really solid bridge. It's a good bridge. Uh, I have up here because I did a a flat pig head. Uh, you know, like a fender design flat, except that it's three on a side. And uh, so I used a uh, the Floyd retainer to pull, get myself a little bit of down tension right at the net there. It worked out really well. Uh, again, like I did on the, um, the Telecaster, I have a uh, lacquered stenciled logo. Uh, I sprayed through a stencil and then lacquered over it. These, I didn't even look. I'm going to just go with it and say these are probably Grover. They look like growers. I'll put my glasses on. They definitely say something. Why? I think they say grower. It's it's hard to read, just a little chrome dealer. Anyway, so uh, maple fretboard. It is actually, I just noticed, a 24 fret. So um, yeah, all of that aside, the things that about this guitar that I'm probably not, I should say, that I'm not happy with. Uh, and there's only only one, basically. And it is how I came into the neck here. I uh, came straight in, and then I have quite a sharp ramp. I don't have, it's not like, you know, divoted in where it's rounder, you know, higher here than here. It's the same, but it's just got a really tight radius right there. And it's not bad, it's just kind of not... Not what I would do now, I suppose, is what I'm looking for here. I like uh, I like the the neck transition here a lot. I think it's uh, I think that turned out rather nicely. And then the uh, the finish, obviously, the back is just clear lacquer over the uh, over the shade that I put on it toner. We'll say the top is uh, my first attempt at any kind of a sparkle or a metallic. 
I bought this at the auto parts store. It's uh, on the top of the body and then also on the peg head and around the sides and end of the peg head. I do this all the time. I look at my monitor and it's not where the filming is happening. So anyway, um, and I'm not sure you can tell either how, how amazing that looks. Um, it's, uh, it's, it just lights up when you're outdoors with this thing. It's incredible how, how sparkly that is. It's really pretty. And it's a lot more tangerine bronzy, root berry maybe is the right word, in, in real, real life than what I'm seeing on my monitor. Maybe it'll come up different when I edit it. So it was a white uh, base coat. And then I shot the gold flake. Just, just mixed it in clear lacquer and shot the gold flake. And then I uh, mixed up a transparent, um, trying to remember what color. I think it was just the, uh, this, this, don't forget this was like pushing 20 years ago or about 20 years ago. Uh, I think it was the red mahogany uh, stain, transparent stain from Stumac. And uh, so it came out very, very gold bronzy. Uh, copper, copper is the word I'm looking for. My my wife always says that it's got that copper penny, brand new copper penny look to it. Um, okay, so that's that guitar in a nutshell. Um, the other thing that I should mention is that originally, now you'll notice that I have a, have a P90 in the, uh, the neck position and then a humbucker in the bridge. And initially, because I was very happy with the result I had with the EMG passive pickup that I had in the Telecaster that I got EMGs here, EMG P90 and an EMG here. The, the tone on this guitar with the EMG pickups, it didn't matter which pickup I was on, it was just really, really, really screechy. I did not like it at all. You can see it's a little thinner than, than your normal. I'm going to say it's an eighth to a quarter thinner. I'm not measuring it, but I know, you know, it's, it's more like inch and nine sixteenths or something. So three sixteenths thinner than normal. Um, so I also have the, the neck middle bridge standard volume tone. And then I also have this, I can split the humbucker here. And so I have in essence have two single coils. Now what I did was, uh, I discovered GFS right back then. And uh, these pickups are just dirt cheap. Uh, but I tell you what, I just bought pretty standard stuff with GFS pickups. And they sound really, really good in this guitar. Um, so that, that's another reason why I'm easily swayed toward the side of it's about the pickups more than about anything else in the guitar. Because, um, you know, I mean, same, same guitar, different pickups, 100% completely different sound tonally, much, much nicer uh, to hear, to play, all that kind of stuff. All right, so that's that's the electronics. The neck on this thing is, I don't think it's wizard thin, but it's pretty thin. And uh, and then the pattern, uh, the, the thickness here is, is probably a little over one in five, might almost be one in 11. So it's kind of wizardy in that it's a little wider and a little flatter than a lot of like the standard fender neck is inch and five and a little deeper than this. Um, I, it's a really comfortable neck. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the uh, number two Jonah guitars uh, update, whatever you want to say. This is this guitars uh, right at the 20 year mark, I, I'm guessing. And, uh, it's, it also was not ever going to be for sale, although uh, if somebody offered me the right amount of money, I would sell it. So, there you go. Make me an offer. All right, that's it. I'm rambling. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. If you have any questions, put them down in the uh, comments and uh, let me know what you think.